Bangkok's old customs house is a familiar sight on the banks of the c h a p r i a River in the city heart. For years, it's been a magnificent crumbling ruin with an uncertain future. This was one of many Western-style buildings commissioned by King Chulalongkorn, Rama V, who reigned Thailand in the late 19th century. It was finished in 1888 and designed in the Neo-Palladian style by Italian architect Joachim Grassi, who also designed the Bang Pa Inn Royal Palace in Ayutthaya, Thailand. In many ways. This was a gateway to the capital, and served as the customs house for 60 years, until those operations moved to the Klong t o i port in 1949. For a few days, the dusty doors were opened, and members of the public were allowed to venture inside. This is a rare chance to peer inside a piece of Bangkok history. In a few days, this place will close for years to be redeveloped into a luxury hotel. Hotel Group U City will spend three billion Thai baht, or around 100 million US dollars, to turn the landmark into almost 16,000 square meters of upscale hotel with 100 rooms. Including construction of a new building, the new opening is scheduled for 2025. Inside, a unique photo exhibition by King Rama V's great great granddaughter. Well, what it is is that I was invited by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to follow in the footsteps of Rama V when he went to Norway 113 years ago. And it was done in celebration of the relationship of the 115th year relationship between Norway and Thailand. So I was invited to follow in his footsteps through photography. And at the time, they didn't know what it would come out like as an exhibition or as an online story. And so I went there and I took a photos. I took a bunch of photos and I tried to interpret not only the journey that he took, but also the letters that he wrote his his daughter. Because throughout that one month in in Norway, he wrote. A series of letters to his daughter. And so you see a per- like a you see a perspective of a king that normally you wouldn't be able to access otherwise. It's very intimate. It's very personal. I feel it's very proud for you as well because yeah. you're yeah. also his great great, great, great granddaughter. granddaughter. Okay. So I turned it into something very personal, and a lot of it is the reason. Is that a lot of my work, I work within historic sites and interpretation and how to bring. The spirit of place out, so people go into a site and they can understand why heritage sites are important and how it relates to people in the contemporary day. And so this is why I try to focus on more people's perceptions, trying to focus on an experiential exhibition, not a photograph. I don't call it a photography exhibition; I call it an experiential. And I focused on letters, so a lot of the curatorial is focused on it's anchored in letters, personal letters between. You know, a great great granddaughter and her great great grandfather, and how he perceived the site, and how I interpreted the site in a different manner, and how we can discuss it. And in a sense, we're drawing links between each other, the king and myself, and the story, and then how the story relates to the site, and how people interpret that. Soon, this splendid decay will have a new lease on life. It remains to be seen what the new developers will add to the site, and what they will take away.